Hi guys and welcome back to another weapons review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Carbina 98 Kurtz aka the German uh, marksman's rifle and um, well now again guys you know me I normally don't like to do reviews without the weapon being one, at least four star unlocked so I've got every mod available so if one of you crazy sons of bitches uh, 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 jump in during one of my live streams and say hey Cobra try this build try that build but unfortunately look fortunately for me I already have the car 98 maxed out on my recon and he maxed that out as an infantryman so I, I already know the pain of what you guys have to go through and so what I'm going to be doing in this review instead of making it like a 40 minute long video where you get to see a montage at the end I'm cutting out the montage I know boo but the reason why I'm cutting out the montage is simply because I know you guys and I know the fact that you guys like to uh, you just want the, the specifics you just want the, the, the numbers uh, I, will, I will add some montage footage maybe in a separate video uh, if you guys want to watch that uh, but for now um, let me explain the car 98 well the carbine 98 Kurtz or the carbine 98 short Kurtz is the word German word for short is often abbreviated as the car 98 K or the K 98 or the K 98 K uh, it's a bolt action chambered in the 7 7.92 by 57 Mauser cartridge uh, that ammunition is very scarce by today's standards simply because um, well, it, it's just a caliber that's really not that used by major countries like uh, England or, or the United States or a lot of other EU countries. However, uh, the Soviet Union, Germany, uh, Czechoslovakia, uh, uh, there, there, there's a whole bunch of countries um, that love using the Car 98. And even though the weapon was built in 1933, 34 was its initial prototype stages, 1935 sorry 35 um, believe it or not it's still being used even in today by in this by the Syrian civil war there are several Syrian rebels that like to use the car 98 as their marksman's weapon um, all they do is they go to Krieger which is a German company that does nothing but 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 competition matched barrels uh, I in fact have a Krieger matched barrel on one of my uh, 308 hunting rifles beautiful beautiful barrel cost me a fortune but it was worth it um, and it, it's just it's amazing um, so let's break down what the rifle actually had in real life compared to what the rifle has in game real quick um, one of the things that that, that here that, that read have done here is they've used the first generation this is a, this is the 1935 model this is not the later model in 38 39 where they went with composite stocks where they went with a different kind of butt plate um, I know ha, 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 he said but uh, and also where they went with a different kind uh, uh, of gas uh, 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 release mechanism on the tip down here also you can see this little um, point sticking out that's actually a cleaning rod where in later models a cleaning rod was actually put into the stock um, so there wasn't a point sticking out so they could actually have a bayonet lug uh, also um, there is no bayonet lug on this weapon because you cannot get, get it as a bayonet I believe you can get no 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 you can't get the there's, there's no, no bayonet weapon for it also there is no uh, uh, um, rifle grenade launcher or, or Shaz Bashir I hope I'm saying that properly I'm probably not basically it was a small uh, uh, um, grenade that was basically like a rigged stick grenade however it was placed on the tip of the barrel there was a special round that had to be chambered so there was no, no projectile or anything and what it would do is release the gases and it would fire the grenade uh, 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 further than, than what the, the soldier could throw um, unfortunately that's not in the game nor is the hub 23 suppressor um, believe it or not German marksmen once they achieved a certain uh, um, goal uh, 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 i.e during the war Germany had a marksmanship program where where soldiers were given special awards special badges uh, and also special pistols um, there's actually several instances of this you can actually find uh, the footage of it on uh, Forgotten Weapons YouTube channel uh, he did actually handle one of these pistols that were captured uh, by the Allies um, and all they are is just a, 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 a PO8 
and a P38 that have special engravings on them and stuff like that, saying congratulations on 100 confirmed kills, etc., etc. Well, one of the things that the marksman's got was known as a Hub HUB number 23 suppressor. And it, it worked to both as a sound baffler, which is what a suppressor is, and a flash hider. Now, a flash hider is different from a suppressor completely. Um, and so all you hardcore gun nuts out there actually know the difference between a flash hider and a suppressor. Well, uh, again, here in Heroes and Generals, that you can't change out the muzzle flashes, you can't change out for suppressors or anything, which can be a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. If you're a recon, that can be a bad thing because you don't want to give your position away. But if you're an infantryman getting shot at by a recon, that's a good thing because clearly they're not, you know, the predator or a Klingon engaging their cloaking field. But at the end of the day, I think that suppressors, both the Hub 23 and the uh, American version, uh, American allies did did uh, um, have suppressors. For example, the the well rod suppressed pistol uh, used a 1903 based suppressor because it was the same it, the, the well rod pistol was a bolt action pistol basically it was just a, a huge bolt action rifle cut down into pistol form um you can actually just google well rod pistol you'll find images of it it was a suppressed pistol that suppressor on that pistol was also modified to work on 1903 rifles which was used by the allies um also uh, there was some modified to work on lee enfield rifles i believe mark fives and mark Mark fives and Mark threes, Mark fives, and I want to say Mark five, uh, Mark fours, some Mark fours. Um, but yeah, uh, there's no suppressors in the game, as you can see. There is no modification slots for all, all you've got is barrel, not not um, tip. So uh, you know, I, I think that would be a really cool possibility if they add a third barrel with like a suppressor on it, where it would um, increase stability. Um, decrease rate of fire, increase precision, doesn't do anything for damage, and doesn't do anything for range. So, you know what I mean? So, so it, 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 you'd have a third option of going like a stealth route. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, but like I said, there's also a paratrooper variant of the Car 98 called the G40K, um, which was 39 inches in overall barrel length um, and weighed seven pounds. And used SS Patron cartridges. Now, if you know, if you if you are a H and G player, there is SS Patron ammo right here. The ammo is already in the game, which is a subsonic ammo. That's what the S means. It means subsonic. Aspicious and subsonic. The, the SS stands for subsonic. Um. So yeah, they've got the ammo in the game. So how comes paratroopers, which I pointed out in my paratrooper guide, don't get this dev specialized G40K? There, there was a, a batch of over a thousand plus made of the G40K. Uh, from what I'm reading here, uh, and again, I'm reading this from various sources, not just Wikipedia, a batch of 82 G40K rifles were produced in 1941 by the Mauser Corporation. So there was 82 produced in 1941, and 103 were rumored to be produced in 1942. But past 1942, Germany didn't use paratroopers. So you know there could be a, a, there could be a couple of G40Ks out there um, for for various other reasons. However, um, the weapon was built primarily by Mauser. There were some smaller German my, uh, uh, some smaller German companies that uh, uh, took over the production of certain things for example the uh, stock being produced and shaped the uh, trigger guard the uh, trigger guard mechanism and stuff it was all outsourced and then brought into Mauser's factories and Mauser produced them typical I did not unplug an audio device I did not unplug an audio device typical sorry about that guys that was my uh, my headset taking a huge great big crap on me but anyway guys uh, long story short what do I think of the car 98 um, it's a good weapon however the iron sights do let it down compared to other games like uh, Red Orchestra where the iron sight picture is very clear very concise I understand from a gaming mechanic why Ritu uh, made the sights very obtuse uh, that's because this weapon can be easily configured to put down human soft targets i.e. 
uh, infantry, recon, paratroopers, anything that's not in a tank or a plane, pretty easy. Now, the grind while using the Karna, yeah, it can be painful. Hence, that's why, as you see, I do have a, uh, uh, I do have a Mauser, C Mauser pistol, my, my uh, C96. I also have a, a knife just in case I want to get, get some stealth kills. I don't really want to give my position away by firing. And of course, I have my typical ubiquitous anti-tank. I never, ever, ever take off my anti-tank if I ha if I have to. But uh, my Car 98 build is simply for, it's a mixture of, of precision and rate of fire. Now, what a lot of people tend to do is until they unlock either a T-Post scope or the German scope, is they just don't bother with the match site simply because uh, uh, even by I even looking at the actual hard data, uh, there are some groups out there on Steam and various other uh, and even on Reddit that have actually broken the game and, and started looking at the internal code and realised that using the matched sites or the field adjusted sites actually costs you almost eight to ten credits per shot more than it would if you used a scope. Uh, that, in my own, in my in my honest opinion, is just what the fuck, Ritu? Um, but anyway, what most people do is they'll, they'll throw a trigger on it as they're grinding it up. I've got the field trigger job on it just to get the rate of fire up a little bit. And I've noticed that some will even go ahead and throw in like a lightened spring to push that rate of fire up even more. Uh, simply because right now you just want to get as much lead down range as you can. Um, you know, aim center mass and just pull the trigger. Don't don't try and go do those expert headshots and whatnot because that's just not going to happen. Um, don't bother with the stainless steel barrel. It does literally nothing for the gun. Um, again, this is more, probably one of the most junkiest mods um, that that are, are are there for the bolt actions. You're better off just not even running a barrel until you get the Scout 2 unlocked and installed. Uh, same as uh, um, the heavy bolt, of course, you're going to need the heavy bolt if you plan on turning this thing into a one-shot killer. Uh, also, you're going to need to unlock the heart ammo uh, if you plan on doing a heavy set gold kill, which means um, SNK heart, uh, field trigger, heavy bolt, scout 2. And what that will do, that build will literally kill even heavy set gold soldiers in one shot center mass. So if you hit them in the heart, the chest, you know, if you hit them in the, 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 the chest, the groin area, one shot kill, hit them in the arms, the legs, um, two shot kill, hit them in the head and neck, one shot kill. Um, again, I don't really don't bother with skins. Really, the reason why I don't bother with skins is because it's just a cosmetic thing. It does nothing for the gun. Um, so yeah, uh, Grind, as you're grinding the weapon up, just go with trigger. Maybe go with like a, a, a lightened spring, um, and just or a lightened bolt, even you know. And, and that way, you can just enjoy the rate of fire. For example, if you go with the lightened lightened spring and that regular trigger, you're at 50 rounds per minute, which is pretty goddamn fast for a bolt action. Um, and, and the follow-up shots. Don't do not worry about. The, the the spread deviation you're really not going to have to worry about it because it's a bolt action because you have to keep chambering the next round and the next round's not ready to fire like it can can be in the Gewehr or, or the M1 Garand or the SUT40 or the Tokarov 40 sorry um, you've just got to worry uh, about getting the round and, and, and it's about target acquisition with bolt actions you have to take your time I know that sounds ironic especially with a higher rate of fire the reason why you've got a high rate of fire is because Hold your, hold your fire till you find a clear target, a target out in the open, a target driving a, 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 a car on a bike, stuff like that. Once you've found your target, or a guy in a window, once you've found your target, get on target, pull the trigger, and then that's where your rate of fire comes in. Until then, don't just walk around the map, you know, thinking that you've got a Gewehr, because you don't. Bolt actions demand that you take your time. Bolt actions demand that you don't base rush. Even if you've got the thing specced out to be a one-shot kill, you do not base rush. Okay, guys, you just don't because it's just that the the bolt, the sheer bolt action, will let you down. Uh, now, I I have in the past on my American base rush with my recon, gone running right into a room with three enemy tangos and gotten three one-shot kills straight away without even scoping. Bang, bang, bang. However, that 
was a fluke. Two of them had their back to me and weren't even paying attention as I killed the first guy. The guy, they finally started paying attention after I killed the second guy. He whizzed around. He had an MP40. He did knock me down to you know, half my health. So, like I said, opportunities are one of those things that, that are very rare where you can actually uh, uh, um, be do a lot of heavy assault, in, assault work with the Car 98. So, all in all, what do you do once you've got your Car 98 maxed out? Well, I'm going to flip over to my recon here real quick to show you. Now, bear in mind, there are some mods that I'm going to be showing you that you will not have access to as an infantryman, but you will as a recon. Now, what does that entail? Well, that entails things like the marksman's trigger job. You will not be able to have the marksman's trigger job, period, okay, period, unless you're a recon. Okay, same as the Chrome Molly 4150 and the Octagon Barrel. Now, I prefer the Chrome Molly 41, uh, 40, 4150 simply because it is a flat trajectory of what happens to your bullets. Let me explain. Now, yes, Scout 2 is a tighter overall bloom, but look at how, look at where the bullet drop curtails. Do you see it? You don't? It doesn't, exactly. It pulls up, it doesn't pull down. Uh, bullet physics uh, in this game are very similar to that of Battlefield, which is the further out the target, the higher up you have to aim. You have to take into account bullet drop. Okay? Now, look at that. Look at the difference between the two. Boom, boom. There is no curtail difference within the initial spread. So my first initial on shot, as long as I hot aim high enough, I don't have to worry about the next follow-up shot. And you can't do that with the octagon barrel. Now everyone says that the octagon barrel is just see, do you see the bullet drop? But the the bullet deviation doesn't move. Do you see? This is why I went with the Chrome Molly 4150 because most of my engagement shots are about the 300 meter range, three to 400 meter range. So I'm literally at the peak of my one shot kill capability. If the target is further than that, I don't bother taking the shot, even with an 8x scope, simply because of the way the uh, scope sway is. And that's another thing. You're also going to get access, with a recon of course, to 8x, uh, 8 times magnification scopes. Whether it be the Fine Cross, or the German uh, 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 um, Zellets. Now I prefer the German Zets, simply because this scope is designed to help you shoot at moving targets, i.e. tankers who are hatch peaking. Uh, soldiers on bikes, on jeeps and trucks, things like that. Um, plus, it's also pretty goddamn accurate as a stationary tar as a stationary uh, uh, scope compared to the fine crosshair. See, with the fine crosshair, uh, I know why why players use the fine crosshair. They want to see the the, the target more clear. They want to see the sight picture more clear. Well, that's the problem. What do you want? Do you want a, a clearer clearer sight on the target and watch your bullet whiz past him because the sight picture is completely off, or do you want the site to actually aid you in your shot in actually killing the freaking target. It's your call. Do you want a weapon that's going to slow you down and, and and go against you, or do you want a weapon that's designed to help you do your damn job? So it's your call there. Um, overall, what do I think of the Car 98? Um, I think it's a fun weapon comparing it to it, it, its counterparts in the Americans, which would be the uh, 1903, which you see here, I have my name Freedom Prevails. Um, and of course, the Soviet the Soviet counter, the Mazian Nagant 189130. Um, now, as you can see, I do not have the Mazian Nagant unlocked yet. Uh, I am working on, uh, on that. And you will see more uh, 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 recon action today on uh, YouTube Gaming. Uh, dot com slash deceptive cobras slash live simply because I will be doing recon day today uh, where all I'll be doing is playing nothing but recons and testing recon builds and uh, uh, recon ideas so yeah guys uh, look forward to seeing that and um, until then guys um, my, my my teal dare for you guys to sum it all up uh, Car 98 is a good gun if you spec it for rate of fire until you max it out and literally just spec her for rate of fire. So grab yourself a light and bolt like I'm about to buy here. That's 30 grand down the pisser as most people say, but it's not for me. 
um, and literally just spec her out for rate of fire. Uh, the ammo I'm using, of course, is the subsonic ammo, the Aspersone SS, simply because of the uh, 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 precision, damage, and range. Yes, it does. The but there is slower bullet stability. With stability, you don't have to worry about simply because it's a bolt action. Uh, you would have to worry about stability if it was, say, a semi-auto like a Gewehr or an automatic like the Stone Gewehr or the MP40. But unfortunately, you don't have to worry about those. Um, so yeah, that's my current build, guys, to grind out the Car 98. Uh, also, don't forget, guys, you could also use booster ribbons. Um, I, I personally don't use them um, because I just don't see the point. Uh, if you actually looked at, at my lineup, you'll see that from various, you know, free codes that Rito have given away, I still have 90% of my boosters. Um, see, booster, 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 booster on my freaking uh, uh, um, chauffeur ribbon for crying out loud. Booster on my MP40. Booster on my other. I, I just, I really just do not see boosters on my squad squad ribbon, Steve. Still, I just don't see the point of using boosters. I really don't. Uh, doing that, you cheat yourself. Yes, you do unlock the stuff on the we on the weapon or on or on that ribbon faster. But the point is, you 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 don't if you can't kill. If that makes sense. Um, there's no point in, in activating a booster for close quarters combat if you don't have a knife, and you don't use it. Having it out in your hand and running around the map isn't using it. Um, you have to stab it. You have to stab people with it. Stabbing a tree doesn't count. You have to stab people with it. But if you can't stab the person because you know it's not a close, it's not a small map, it's not a skirmish map, you're kind of SOL. So there you go, guys. Um, until then, guys. Uh, yeah, Car 98 build. Um, spec it out for rapid fire until you max it out. Um, and I mean, all the way up to four star gold, and then grind out the credits to get yourself your scout two barrel and your heavy bolt, and um, then a scope. And then have fun. Replace the uh, uh, lightened, lightened spring with the uh, with the heavy bolt, and then have your scout two barrel, and you should be good. Yeah, again, you can go with the heart ammo if you really want to drop a target, you know, at, at like a hundred meters plus. But then again, you've, you've made the scope mute at that point. But uh, yeah, um, like I said, guys, that's a car ninety eight. That's the Carnot yet cuts. Um, guys, let me know in the comment section down below on what weapon you want to see me do a small Cobra Quick Bites slash weapons guide review on in the uh, in the next video. Until then, guys, uh, hit the favorite, hit the like, hit the share, uh, hit the sub button if you haven't already, and don't forget, guys, to watch me on YouTubeGaming.com slash Deceptive Coverage slash Live uh, for live stream gameplay of Heroes and Generals, War Thunder, World of Tanks. World of Warships, you name it. Uh, until then, guys, keep your shirts lined, keep your enemies dying. Your Cobra Commander is out, and I'll see you sexy bitches in the next video, my friends.